These are quick and easy lunches. This is kind. This is really basically the way that I eat. I do like to make elaborate meals, but the truth is everybody is busy, and these are the foods that I eat every day. I took some sprouted grain bread. You could use any kind of whole grain version. And I took a Boca burger, the flame grilled vegetable Boca burgers. I like to take soy cheese and melt it on top. So you've toasted the bread. You take your defrosted Boca burger or whatever veggie burger you like. They make black bean burgers, they make portobello, they make every flavor. It takes about two minutes in a pan with some sliced soy cheese or your, your own favorite low fat cheese. You could also do it in the microwave. I like it in here because I like it to get a little bit of a sear, a little bit of a crust, like a burger. I do an open face burger because you really don't need all that bread. If there's so much going on here, it's, you're not going to miss it. I put some, I'm going to use some store-bought pesto. You could use some healthy ketchup or some Dijon, but I, like I said, you eat with your eyes first and you'll be more satisfied and maintain your weight when things are interesting. So pesto is a great thing to keep in your refrigerator for different pastas, for chicken salads. And I just put a little bit of store-bought pesto and a little bit of tomato. And this is a gorgeous open-faced burger that must have taken five minutes. This is a staple for me. I eat this at least twice a week. I love tofu and a lot of people say they don't like it and it's hard to not like it because it's a canvas. So it's all what you put in it. So this is firm, low-fat tofu. It's about a quarter of a brick. And I use mayonnaise, a soy mayo. You can use regular mayo. You only need a half of a tablespoon of mayonnaise. You need less mayonnaise with tofu than you do with chicken or tuna because tofu has so much moisture in it. So you don't know where the mayonnaise ends and the tofu begins. Mix together the firm tofu. This is called spike seasoning. It's all natural. It does start with salt, but I am a person who believes in a little bit of salt because it makes things taste better so it satisfies you. So you need a little bit of spike in the tofu salad. I like to put a little bit of Dijon. Dijon gives a little zip to everything. So I'm using about a teaspoon of strong Dijon. You could use curry powder if you wanted to add to it. You really don't need it. You just need spike and a little Dijon. And what I usually do is toast my bread. I take my tofu salad, a couple of greens. Like I said, always add, add greens to everything when possible. Anything green because you will fill up on the healthy stuff. This is my tofu salad sandwich. I eat this twice a week. And it's great with a little salad, a little vinaigrette. This is a great, easy, healthy lunch.